the highly coveted title of Captain General of the Royal Marines was passed from Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, to Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, in December 2017 as Philip retired from royal duties. Prince Philip was appointed Captain General in succession to the late King George VI in 1953. The title was a major honor for Prince Harry, particularly as was the first royal in more than 25 years to serve in a war zone. Harry spent 10 years in the armed forces, serving in Afghanistan as an Apache helicopter pilot. When he announced he would be leaving the army in 2015, the prince said his time in the military would stay with me for the rest of my life. In 2020, however, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, decided to leave their lives as working royals and make a private life for themselves in America. Consequently, Harry was stripped of his title of Captain General of the Royal Marines, a decision which was said to be a huge blow for the 36-year-old. So who might be the new Captain General? Rumors are rife that Anne, Princess Royal, will be the new Captain General. If her appointment is confirmed, Princess Anne, 69, would become the first female Captain General in history. Prince Philip and the Queen's only daughter is well known for being one of the hardest working members of the royal family. The role of Captain General of the Royal Marines is the ceremonial head of the Royal Marines, whereas the Commandant General role is the professional head, which comes with the rank Major General. Other possible royals who may take over the title include Prince William, Duke of Cambridge and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex. Royal expert Charlie Langston commented on the Duke of Sussex's loss of his treasure title. Speaking to Access, Ms. Langston said, We know that Harry has a great love of the military, we know he was devastated when he had to step away from active duty many years ago. And that, I think, is going to be what really hurts him the most having to give up the titles he worked so hard to get in the first place. Harry has once said the military made me who I am as he committed to a life of service. Despite the Queen's decision to remove him and Meghan Markle from their appointments, the pair are expected to remain in contact with servicemen and women both in the UK and the US. Prince Harry founded the Invictus Game for Injured Veterans and will remain a private patron of the organization now he has completely stepped down as a working royal. Dominic Reed, the CEO of the Invictus Games Foundation, said in a statement, We are proud to have the Duke of Sussex as our patron. The Invictus Games was founded by him, it has been built on his ideas and he remains fully committed to both the Games and to the Invictus Games Foundation. His military service and experience, combined with his genuine compassion and understanding for those who serve their countries has raised awareness of wounded, injured and sick service personnel and the role they continue to play in society. His work has had an extraordinary impact on the way in which disability, service, and mental health is viewed around the world. And he has been instrumental in changing the lives of many.